Hey fragrance friends and enthusiasts, what is your scent of the day for me? Boise 1920, they have a fragrance right here, it's called Piranha. I believe that's how you say it, please let me know how you're supposed to say it in Italian or what it means. As far as I can figure out on the internet, it means enrich or to add to life. And this is a, a carefree fragrance, highly versatile, and right off the block, this smells like a Ventus. You saw the title, you know what's going on. This is Boise 1920 taking a slice of the Aventus pie, taking a little bit of that market for themselves, and surprisingly, I have talked to people and they have said that this is a top seller, that they can't even keep this in stock, and it's sometimes, you know, you can't even find it on the official website because it sells out all the time. This is a beautiful fragrance, and there's actually something really impressive to say at the end of the review, so stay tuned for that. But this fragrance has a few twists and turns. There's something different. It's not just another Aventus clone. Of course, you're going to get some of that black currant, um, adding some dark, uh, fruity sweetness off the top. But um, it's not. There's not a lot of the black currant. Honestly, there's a lot more of the Italian bergamot. And uh, Boise 1920 brings the quality with the Italian bergamot and adds a very fresh Italian feel. Actually, let me spray this and. Uh, refresh in my memory it's gorgeous it's lively it's beautiful you immediately get some of the musk uh, the beautiful quality there's some slightly leathery undertones but what makes this fragrance different from any of vintage style fragrances there's not really pineapple but it does have that uh, full body quality that that heart of a Ventus that really made it so uh, beautiful in the older batches 2016 and before uh, before the uh, two major reformulations uh, there was this um, charismatic, full-bodied, uh, energetic citrus quality to it that really uplifted the pineapple. And there's more, it's, it's in this fragrance. And I don't know how they did that. People have made lots of excuses for Creed since it's regulated. We won't get into all that. But they capture that quality in this fragrance. And there's musk to give it a little bit of body. There's also amber giving a little bit more body and fullness. Not a heavy, gooey, rich uh, you know gourmand amber nothing like that, but it just adds body to an aquatic or a fresher style fragrance um, Like here and I love that and they do it so so well uh, the birch is interesting I feel like it's a fresh cut just freshly cut birch it has some green elements to it It has a fresh green young woody element to it um, a lot of birch is in these style fragrances a Ventus like fragrances are um I mean, they're musky and they're clean and they're transparent, but they don't have that fresh cut green at woodiness to it. And the birch to me comes out higher quality. And again, this fragrance is a lot higher quality than a lot of the Aventus like fragrances, but there's more. There's even more. I told you it was interesting. And if I just, if that, that was the end all be all, if everything I just told you was it, it might not be that interesting, but there's actually some uh, rock and jasmine to this fragrance and some rose. Rock and jasmine is a little bit dry, it's a little bit of sensuality, um, and again, it's to me that those Moroccan and some of those Middle Eastern notes have a, a unique energy about them, a unique, almost spiciness or vibrancy. Um, it doesn't go full on jasmine; it doesn't overpower, just blend it into the fragrance. Uh, and the rose to me is clean and maybe white, maybe a little bit green, a little bit fresh cut as well, but does add a unique sensuality. I actually, have the fragrance sprayed on my arm right here. And um, it adds a unique uh, romantic uh, type of quality with the musky notes and the clean transparent amber and the leathery undertone, small hints of leather in the background. It adds a unique sensuality and a different kind of aspect to this style of fragrance. And at first I thought that this was going to be a generic fragrance. I was going to, actually when I first got this and, uh, and uh, looked at the notes, uh, I, I thought I was going to beat this up. It's just another Aventus clone. And... Um, we can't give it much for creativity, can we? Can we? We'll get to that at the end of the video. But um, you know, there is this is still a great fragrance. They put a twist on it, they put a spin on it, and they came through with the quality. So is it just a niche house just copying out and giving us, a, you know, a cheap fragrance and just something that smells like a Ventus? Uh, this actually is outstanding juice, and I think it uh, speaks to its quality that this thing is selling out. Um, if you go to the boutiques that are selling this and uh, you ask, uh, you know, you message them on Instagram or message these people, they'll tell you this is hot. They can't keep it in stock fast enough. It sells out very quickly. So people are loving on this fragrance. Solid. Um, so performance wise, is it weak? Is it bad? I would say it's about seven hours, um, seven, maybe eight if you're lucky, if you sprayed up on clothes. 
uh, for this style of fragrance and for how Italian this feels. Again, there's a lot more emphasis put on the bergamot. There's a, there's a, there's a fair amount of the bergamot and this Italian feel to this fragrance. I feel like the performance is solid on this. Uh, I wouldn't expect much more. And uh, projection is about average, maybe slightly above average, and the sillage is average, really. Uh, so performance-wise, it's not a beast mode fragrance. Some people going for niche might expect beast mode. There's some people out there who do expect beast mode fragrances. If you are to pay niche or pay more expensive, they say, why pay more if you're not going to get higher concentrations? Again, the quality is uh, what is your what you're paying for here. It's not necessarily the concentration. Uh, but uh, this is great for the office, every day, anywhere, anytime. This is a perfect fragrance. And honestly, much better than much, most of the Aventus clones or Aventus-like fragrances out there. And we'll, I'll mention a few of those at the end of the video again. But my goodness, um, I, thought, I didn't think I'd be impressed by another Aventus fragrance. And I want the hype train to end. I want there to be less Aventus fragrances, but I guess there's still opportunity for them. Every once in a while you come across another one, you're like, well, it's, it's, it's pretty good. And it, it does uh, it does something that people want. It, made, uh, it makes Aventus more fresh, Italian, vibrant, romantic, has more of a, you know, a charm and a passion. It, it, to me, it's a little bit more almost emotional. And there's, again, a special something I want to mention at the end of the video. Uh, so again, we talked about the performance compliment factor. You know that Aventus is a compliment magnet. Um, you're not going to get chased down with this one. You're going to have to be fairly close to someone. Fine dining. You go to a bistro. You go out and about. Uh, and you then when you start having a conversation with somebody, this one is again is it weak? But you're going to have to be probably arm's length. Um, the cashier or um, whoever you're around, fairly close around in their bubble is probably going to notice that you smell very appealing and attractive and respectable and all those good things that you'd want with just about a versa, highly versatile, highly wearable fragrance. But again, this fragrance has rose and a tiny bit of jasmine in the background and amber and it's not just a typical citrus, it's not just a typical fragrance. And most people, again, Aventus is so played out in the fragrance community and people smelled Aventus and people are tired of Aventus and Aventus has been reformulated and I don't want to hype it up, I think it's tired and done. And um, I want people to stop talking about it. But there's a whole world. The world of fragrance, most people out there in the world don't know of Aventus or don't know like anything about this. And uh, so this is a solid fragrance. If you like that style, this is great. Um, and the compliment factor, again, you are, I, it's, it's high, but I don't want to say you're going to get chased down. You're going to have to be in somebody's bubble, having a nice conversation, looking respectable and nice and approachable. And uh, people are going to like the way you smell. Absolutely, this is a crowd pleaser in that way. But again, not likely to grab attention across a club, if that's what you're looking for, uh, to overpower and shout. This is not that kind of fragrance. And to just grab attention uh, seductive-wise, there is a little bit of rose. I mean, there's some charm here, but it's not exactly a huge, uh, you know, kind of, that's, not, that's not what this fragrance is. So the big thing I was going to tell you, if you stuck to, to the end of the video, thank you so much that uh, this smells like a 2016 batch of Aventus. Now, I know a lot of people are tired. People are going to click off the video right now because you don't want to hear about batches. I'm not going to get into the batch talk. But what I am going to tell you is that, um, th again, Aventus has been reformulated twice. Um, about 2016 uh, to 2020 is when they took away a lot of the, the concentration. They weakened it, um, and they took away a lot of this sparkling uh, kind of you know, something that really supports the bergamot and the fresher notes and the apple, a little bit of apple nuance and the pineapple, of course. Um, and the, it, there was this certain aroma, a, a chemical or something in the background. And th this fragrance has it. And this fragrance has that sparkle and that energy and the beauty of what makes Aventus uh, by Creed so magical and uh, what a lot of people are looking for. So... I, you know, again, that might not sound like anything special, especially maybe if you've never smelled those batches or never cared. But what I can say is that I've spoken very highly about 2015 batches. Like I've said, if you're going to mess with Aventus, mess with the 2015 or 16 batches. Even then, it was terribly expensive. Might not even be worth paying the extra money for. These days, prices on Aventus can, um, even on 2015 or 16 batches, can be as much as $500 plus. Um, yeah, and if you want a 2012, 2013, 2014 batch, forget about it. 
unless you're willing to pay up, uh, 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 you know, upwards of a thousand or maybe more, depending on who you're bidding with and who what you're fighting for and if you're willing to pay it. Um, so what I can tell you is that uh, the price on this one. Let's talk about the price. About 160. I think I think I saw 165, 168 euros, something like that. And in U.S. dollars, I think that boils down to about 230. Now, there's some people on eBay I saw who are supposedly selling this one for about 168. This fragrance sells out really quick, even at boutiques. I don't even know if they're worth trusting. Um, so, I don't know. Look and see if they're a highly trusted seller. See if you can trust these people. Uh, but you might want to fork out the 200 or so dollars for this when it does become available if you are looking for this. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to step on a few toes here. Uh, this is better than Pineapple Vintage. Um, even their Pineapple Vintage Intense, which was a great fragrance, uh, which did capture some of the beauty of Aventus. Um, I won't get into their customer service. Some people have had huge problems, but uh, this is the better fragrance. This is the much better fragrance, in my opinion. Um, there's got there's there's a few twists and turns. The quality's better, and um, it's it's it. I, I'm supporting a brand, and uh, I like Bosi 1920 out of Italy. Good people. And I like the presentation. I think the presentation is stunning. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's a stunning in the, in the presentation it comes with with the box. All that's solid. So what can I say? I'm, I don't know. Get out there and see if this sounds good to you. <laughs> I'm kind of surprising myself. I don't think I would hype up uh, a Ventus style fragrance ever again. I thought I was done with a Ventus. But uh, you surprise yourself sometimes. Um, and I, that's what's happening here. So... Let me know uh, in the comment section below, are you tired of Aventus? Do you think it's overdone? And again, trust me, when you if you live in a smaller city or a smaller town or somewhere outside of big metro areas, a lot of people have never smelled anything like Aventus, never smelled Aventus before, never have heard about it. So when you pull out a fragrance like this, it's going to be a new fragrance DNA, and it's going to impress people. It's going to be new. Not only will it probably still be new to them, it's just a DNA that works and just smells great. Um, again, there's some woodier elements that almost are slightly green. Uh, so this is Italian and fresh and versatile and happy. Uh, but I do, I, I, and it kind of gives it maybe a little bit of fuzziness in a way with that Moroccan spicy playful nature. Um, it's not a grown up fragrance, so I do not want to give the impression that this is mature. Young people can have lots of fun with this. It's for anybody and everybody. Uh, but I do feel like guys who like woody aspects of notes, maybe if you're 25, 30 plus and you like a little bit of that weight and that balance like I do, like with Amber, you might want to check this fragrance out. So I think I've said enough. I've been very wordy, very chatty, and uh, there's a major thunderstorm coming in. I can hear the breeze. The rain's starting to come down. I don't know if y'all can see that breeze, and now, and now it's starting to get dark. The thunder's pouring in. My friends... Thank you so much for watching my fragrance review today. Thank you for being a fragrance enthusiast. Thank you for being a friend. I hope that you enjoyed my content today. I hope that you enjoyed my review. This came from the heart. This came true. This is my, and uh, if you like individual fragrance reviews, you got to support the creators that do them and put this much effort and this much, uh, you know, concentration and understanding into a fragrance to actually understand the fragrance and tell you all of the details that you want to know or could pro probably could ever want to know about a fragrance. So again, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff in the comment section below. If you want the best possible price on this fragrance, if you want to, to get it and the availability, again, is sometimes hard to find. Um, there's really good people out there. They did provide this fragrance so avant-garde, um, very generous with me and made this fragrance review happen. Use uh, my code CENTAR15. Centaur 15 for a big discount. And it's raining cats and dogs right now. It's heavy, but use that for 15% off. Again, code Centaur 15. And um, you'd save some money and get the best prices around. I don't get money kickback for that. But the reason why I mention that is because I want to help you find the best prices. And that's really the best way you're going to get some of the best prices on fragrances that are never discounted anywhere else. So if you want those amazing prices, you know, I'm giving you that offer. That's the only reason I agreed to even make that discount code is because I knew that I could give you the best offer and the best, uh, you know, the best prices available. So I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe. Stay cool. And uh, it's raining. It's raining big. Hope that you like that.
I'll see you soon, everybody. Have a good one.